what we can do as well is to have two objects colliding between them as a SPH. It's kind of a normal thing that you would like to do uh, with liquids. So to do that, let's change this for a box. To do that, right now it's a plane. What you need to do is on file path, you shift click and let's select, let's select a box. So now it's a box. If you hit play, we are keep emitting, but normally you would like to emit only once. To change that on single shot frame, if it's out of range, it will mean that we'll keep emitting constantly. If you add a specific frame, let's add 1001. It will only emit once. Let's do it again. We can see that it's only emitting once. Uh, first, we have gravity that we don't want. So on, on SPH system, there is a built-in gravity. Let's turn this off. So simply add a zero here. What we want to do as well is want this to be faster. Let's add a three. Let's copy this, Control C, Control V. Now we have two objects. Shift M if you want to switch between local and global. And let's turn this the other way. We will need to play a little with this, but let's see what happened. If, oh, not bad. So we had already this intersecting and we had this nice splash going on. Right now is not super exciting because we need some retouch, but this Let's do something quite fast. Uh, we want more resolution. And on the SPH as well, one thing that we can do is viscosity a little more. It always helps a little to keep things together. Surface tension, I like it to have quite a lot. And let's keep it this way. It's slower because we go now to 128,000 particles. Again, my system, uh, I, I am using six threads. I am recording this as well. I am on a laptop, so I have a GTX and I have uh, four cores. So it's not the fastest system that I have, but as you can see, it's pretty well multi-thread. So I have four cores with eight threads on a quite old laptop, but it's using 100% of them and here we go with the splash maybe reducing surface tension um, it's always a matter of play a little between with these values I like the pressure scale it's always cool but you can see that here we are creating these values. And again, now we are displaying the default uh, spheres. If we go to turn off perspective particles and we decrease this, we can get some nice visualization of this liquid. And obviously playing with the uh, Playing with the rotation of these objects, we will create totally different shapes together with the values in the liquid. Remember that to export all this, we are not saving any of that right now on cache. That's because first I don't have any name, as name assigned. Uh, I will need to do a file save as. I can create a new folder. Let's say it's called test uh, sph and I will call this test sph save. Now doing that, if you go to file preference, I can say, okay, write the files out and write image as well while simming. So this will create a play, blast, a play blast of this as it's going on. And the system that it's using to cache is defined here on a PRT. If you want to create a Lembic, you simply write ABC you can write as well bin or I like a lot PRT is what I use in Max. Let's do this again. I will try to change this a little, see what we get with a different system. And let's press play. Also, I will have to increase a little sub samples. We are at 12. Let's go to 16. 
Uh, so as I said, if we go to the file where we are writing the file, we have as well the cache and image. Each cache and each image is associated to the file name. If we go to cache, that's the SPH, we see that we have an SPH associated to each file. We are rewriting it then right now. And if we go to the image, we have as well uh, an image that it's created based on this file. We can see what's going on now. I can see that the surface tension, I would like it to have it higher. Uh, so as you can see, now we have a result really different than before. And something that can be really cool. And we can review here, as you can see, it's generating it as we, we are simulating. So at any time, uh, we can see what's going on. Uh, if you change uh, the view, obviously we'll, we'll change it. So we had this kind of like crazy stuff going on. But uh, you can see these cool shapes that we are having with this. So I hope guys that you like this SPH introduction. I Let me know in the comments if you need something else that you would like to review. I covered a little the basics. I didn't cover everything. Uh, SPH is still kind of like the first implementation of the SPH in a storm. It will improve, but I think that we can already do a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, it creates a lot of cool shapes as we can see here uh, in a very easy way and can be really interesting. Uh, let us know what you like. L remember to go to the forum. We are increasing uh, users every day. If you have any question in the storm, we will be glad to help. And there is much other cool stuff coming that I hope that I can show it to you guys very soon. Uh, see you, see you guys, and stay tuned. Bye.